Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Um, yes, this vlog was recorded in July before I left for vacation. Yes, it is Monday, November 4th, and I am just now editing slash uploading this today. Sorry it's been like months, but also kind of not that sorry because I've been very busy. And this is my schedule, so we're just doing what I feel like. Um, I have one or two more videos that I have filmed, like pre-filmed, a travel one and another random one. They might come up soon, they might not. Um, I don't really know what else to say. I just wanted to say that, yes, this was from months ago, but I'm just going to still upload it because I have it. So why not? Okay, now you guys can get on to this long-ass vlog, but enjoy. Good morning, vlog. Welcome back. Um, today we have lots to do. It is currently Sunday, July 28th, and it I leave for my trip on Thursday. So that means we don't have very much time to start packing and everything. So we're starting the prep today. I have to run some errands. Right now we have to go to the van store because I got to pick up socks. And then I also have to go to Target to get all like the toiletry stuff and like sunscreen and all just like the basic traveling stuff. But I leave really early Thursday morning. So I have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, four days to start packing, well, and finish packing. But yeah, I'm just gonna take you guys with me today. And first stop is the mall. So let's go to the mall. Okay, we just went to the first stop, well, first store. I already went to the gym today. But I got two packs of socks because right now the socks are buy one get one fifty percent off, which is really nice because I really needed socks and their socks are pretty pricey. But I get the men's socks there now sometimes, not all the time, but most of the time I get the men's socks because they're thicker than the women's socks and they're a dollar cheaper. But I just get the little no-show socks. I wear them with whatever sneakers I wear. Like I'm wearing my gym sneakers right now and I'm still wearing my no-show socks because they're just my favorite socks. And I literally wear them every time. I need socks but I got a black pair and a gray pair and I just love van socks they're the only socks I own so I need to get some new ones I'm always wearing them that car almost just hit another car um yeah okay gonna go to Target now and spend more money yay trying to find high-waisted workout leggings that have pockets is the hardest thing in the world. I just don't want black because I need three pairs of black and I just want a color. But then I also don't want a color that I already have, so I don't want really a blue or like a purple. Okay, so I'm now home from Target and the van store. And sorry about my fan, it's hot in here, so I'm gonna keep it on. And also, I look a little crazy right now because I just watched Tana's new I Love You video to Jake and literally started crying. Love that for me. But I decided I should do a Target haul because I spent way too much money at Target. That always happens though. So the first thing I got was this little back loofah. Then I got two regular loofahs, one for me, one for my mother. And then I got some shaving cream. And then I got two of the Dove Spray On Dry Spray Invisible ones in the shade Sheer Cool. Because I just started using these and I really love them. And I don't know how quick I'm going to go through them. So I just bought a few to have because I'm going to be gone for 10 days. So I want to make sure I don't run out. And like if we're going to be in the pool and stuff and sweating and I don't want to smell bad so I might just throw one in like my pool bag you know you feel me and then I got um the fit me matte and poreless in the shade 120 just in case I do self tan before I go I want to have one that'll like match me and then I got some more air spun because I always need air spun and then I got two of these little squeezy travel things because I need to put some of my stuff in here so I just grabbed two hopefully two will work I don't really know how many I needed I just kind of went with it and then I found this, which is an EcoTools dry, dry brush. And I think I'm going to use this before I self-tan because I think I'm going to self-tan. And it will get all my dead skin off. So my tanner is all nice and smooth. And then I also got the Fit Me Matte and Poreless powder, like the pressed powder, just to throw in my bag. 
I don't really know why, but like I always need it. And then I got some Sunbum face sunscreen, which is the SPF 50. Never really used this before. I also have a Neutrogena one, but I wanted to try something else too. So I bought that. And then I bought this because you just need one. And I know I need one. So I got the first aid to go kit. That was all for bag one. And then bag two, I got a pair of goggles. I don't know if I'm gonna actually use them, but I figured that it'd be good to have in case you wanted to like snorkel kind of or something. I don't really know. I just picked them up. Then I got some of this She Moisture Bamboo Charcoal Detoxifying Foaming Facial Wash. And I've never tried this before, but I'm really starting to love their products. So I wanted to try it. And then I got some super glue. And I, the only reason I bought this is for me to bring on vacation in case one of my nails pops up because, you know, got those acrylics. And if one pops up, this probably isn't the best thing to do, but I just super glue it back because normally it'll pop up like here and then I can just super glue it back on and it'll be good. And especially if I'm gone for, like I said, 10 days, I don't want to have like a ratchet looking nail. So we're going to bring that and then I got a Tide to Go stick because I just felt like I needed one. And then this wasn't necessarily for vacation, but I needed more of my Hydro Boost Water Gel Neutrogena Moisturizer. And they had like a, like a little row of them and they were all for the extra dry skin one. And I was like, okay, well, oily girl, like can't have that. So then I like grabbed like one from the back and randomly it was this one. And this was the only one that wasn't the extra dry one. And I was like, whoa, I don't know how I just found that, but it was meant to be. So I got that. And then I also grabbed another She Moisture product and it's the Bamboo Charcoal Body Scrub because I normally use Bath and Body Works body scrubs, but I'm running out of the one I have. And I really like this brand now, like I said, so I wanted to try this one. Then I got a new little pair of scissors for my lashes because mine are getting kind of dull. And then I also got a regular size pair of scissors because I have one. Like I keep in my bathroom for like cutting off tags and stuff. And I figured I should get a new one because mine's just like old and like gross. And like it was just time for a new one. Then I got a toothbrush. Then I got a little tiny mini wet brush because I figured I could throw this in my pool bag. And it will be very helpful if I want to brush my hair on the go. And then I got a small thing of these face wipes, my Neutrogena wipes. And then I got a beefy pack of the Neutrogena wipes because this one I'm just gonna throw in my travel bag with me, like my carry-on. And then these ones are gonna be in my suitcase because you can never have too many makeup wipes. And then the last two items that I got were I got some Sunbum sunscreen in the thing of 30. And then I also saw this sunscreen called Bear Republic, and it's the Mineral Sunscreen Spray in Vanilla Cocoa, and it was Allure's 2018 Best Whatever, and this one's in SPF 50. But I was trying to quickly Google which ones are, like, reef safe, because I know sunscreens are, like, kind of, can be really bad for the reef lately. And this one popped up on a website that was, like, the best 10 sunscreens to get for Hawaii. I don't really know what that means, but... This one seems to have not have a lot of like bad stuff in it. And it says it's, like I said, it says it's a mineral sunscreen spray. So I don't really know what that means, but it says it's water resistant for 80 minutes. And then this one also says it's water resistant for 80 minutes and it's like gluten-free, vegan, anti something other, you know, this one has like no parabens, vegan, like all that stuff. So I got this one. And then I got this one and, oh, it says on the side, it's cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, recycle-friendly. And, oh, it says reef-friendly, very, really small right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but okay, that's not gonna focus. But right there, I swear it says it. Glad I got this one. Um, I don't think this one's reef-friendly. I was struggling in the store and was literally looking at this for so long. But this one I'll use, I guess, more for the pool. And I'm glad I got this one now because it is reef friendly. Okay, that was it for my little rant at the moment. Um, I have to do a bunch of packing. I will show you guys some of the stuff that I'm going to be packing. But all I feel like doing right now is watching some TV. And I can't do that because I have to clean my bathroom. I really need to edit. I really need to pack. 
and now I have to start getting all this travel stuff that I just bought ready. So yeah, okay, um, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit when I do something else. Okay, so at the moment we have my cheetah dress, this little nice outfit, this jumpsuit, this outfit, this romper for dinners, and then I have two more sundresses, but they're getting hemmed right now, so we got that. Then we got some t-shirts, and we got this one little sweater. We got these two wrap cover-up type things. We got my shorts, we got my joggers, slash Nike Pro, slash sleep stuff, you know. And then we got my bathing suits right there, and a pile of tags I just took off of some of the new clothes, and a pile of hangers that I just took out from all these things. But I'm gonna throw these in my suitcase, and so far, this is what we have kind of packed i mean we're like almost there but it is a good little start so this whole packing thing isn't going the best but i've started a little uh pool slash beach little bag and then i found another like bigger bag that'll be my actual beach bag but i haven't really done much so here's what we have going on since the last time you've seen it. Um, we got the clothes on that side, and then I got two pairs of heels, these sandal things, then I got my blow dryer in there, my new, not new, but my gonna be beach bag, and then I just threw in my dry shampoo, and my hairspray, and then I have socks over there that I have to throw in, and I have some underwear over there that I have to throw in eventually. But I still have a lot on my checklist that I need to check off. But I don't really want to do any of that right now. So maybe I will do a little bit more. And then I really need to clean my bathroom and I need to shower. So yeah, that's what we're working with at the moment. Yeah, I know it basically looks like I have the same amount of progress. But I have my makeup wipes, deodorant, loofah, some perfumes there, um, two of my shampoo and conditioners, some lotion, some shaving cream, some sunscreen, some face wash, face spray, eye masks, and a little face mask, and we got the little beach bag there. This stuff is probably just going to stay out like this because I want to put it all in gallon bags because I don't like to travel with liquids like open, so I'll put most of them in bags. And then I have a little bit of a mess over there that I kind of have to sort through like all that stuff. But I also have to wash my makeup brushes. And then I have this mess that I swear was clean earlier, but I have to hang this stuff back up. I'm gonna take these sweatshirts on the plane, I think, or at, le at least one of them will pack the other one. Um, this is my new stuff that I just got that's kind of everywhere now. We got the iPad. And we got a trash pile here that I need to take downstairs, but I'm waiting to fill it up with even more trash. But I just cleaned my bathroom, even though it probably doesn't look that clean because this bathroom is disgusting. And I wish I could get it redone, but not right now. Um, I didn't vacuum yet though, because like, I'll vacuum when I vacuum my room in a few days. But I cleaned the shower and everything. And I think I might shower now or either wash my brushes now, but I'm feeling a shower and then I might still try to check things off my to-do list, but we're slowly getting through it. This was probably the hardest one of the day for me because I hate cleaning my bathroom. But yeah, just a little update for you guys on my struggles for today. Hi guys, it is currently Tuesday. I know I haven't talked to you since Sunday, but all I did yesterday was go to work and then edit for a little, so like nothing packing wise or any of that stuff. But I just went to the cleaners and picked up those two dresses because they were way too long for me because I'm a short gal. And the lady actually made me a little hair tie from the extra fabric from the one, which was so cute. But I felt bad because I could barely understand her because she had like an accent and I just was like really trying hard to understand it because she was like talking to me while she was finishing doing one thing and I was just like. But I just picked them up. It was really expensive though. It was $50 to get two of them hemmed, like ridiculous. 
but now I am a half hour early to my nail appointment. But let's hope they can fit me in a little bit early. Um, here's, let's see, full focus. Here's a little before for the nails. You can really, wow, really great camera skills. I'm doing great here. But I need my nails done really badly, and my nail place normally takes kind of long. So I'm really hoping they can do my nails in two hours because I have to be at work at three. And it's currently 11.30, but my appointment's technically not till 12. So hopefully they can start me a little bit early so they can do my pedicure and my manicure. And I'll be out of here by 2.30 because I have to leave by 2.30 to the latest. Because I wore shorts, um, can you know, pedicure. Because I have to wear long pants to work. So I have to go to work and like just change my pants when I'm wearing my work shirt. So yeah, I don't know if you guys cared about that. But I told you anyway. Um, I want to get white nails with a little, like, palm, not palm, a little, like, banana leaf on them. And, yeah, so nothing too complicated, nothing too complicated, I hope. But, yeah, I'm probably gonna go in soon and hope they can fit me in a little bit early. And then tonight I have to wash my makeup brushes and then tomorrow is the crazy day where it's just all last minute packing. I can actually pack everything in my suitcase. I can do a last load of wash, like all like the pre-day trip things. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated. I will show you my nails when I'm done. Okay, talk to you guys later. So I just got done my nail appointment. Um, you really can't see my nails that well, but they look like that. They got the white with the little palm, not palm, like leaves, you know. I just wanted something like tropical, fun. Um, I just made it to work though, so I'm gonna go work. But I wanted to show you guys my nails really quickly. Hi vlog, um, I just got out of the shower. It is currently Wednesday. I went to the gym this morning and then I came back, showered, shaved my legs, you know, did all that prep. And I just made myself a protein shake that I just actually finished. I like down that, I was starving. Um, I have wash running in the background. That's why you can hear that lovely noise because the dryer's on. But today, like I said, it's Wednesday. And so I have to pack everything and like get my suitcase ready, self tan later, like everything has to get done today now it is a big hot mess i have a bunch of stuff on the side that i need to put in it and then over there is my protein shake and i'm charging some stuff up some portable chargers and then i washed my makeup brushes last night i got more stuff that has to go in my carry-on which is going to be that bag i just have a ton of things to do so i will let you guys know when my suitcase is officially packed yeah okay so here's an update. Uh, I have laundry all over my bed. I have stuff all over my room. Um, and I just tried to weigh my suitcase and I think we're like 10 pounds overweight right now. So I'm really just thriving, like doing great over here. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna take out 10 pounds, but I really need to figure out a solution because my suitcase should be 50 pounds and she's like 60 pounds. So, yeah, that's fun. I always have my suitcase overweight by at least a little bit. But also, I'm going for 11 days. So, like, you're, a girl needs a lot of outfits, clothes, products. Um, and I still technically have to add, like, a few more items in my bag. So, we're going to try to figure this out. And we'll see what I can do. Okay, update. Here is what my suitcase looks like. It is about 45 pounds now. And then I have this small suitcase that I fit all my extra stuff in half of it. And I still have to add like a few more things. But between me and my dad, we decided that we're gonna take three bags total because he thinks his bag is overweight and this one was 60 pounds. So I'm gonna bring that just in the morning when I meet up with him and then we're just going to transfer all of our like my stuff into one of his like a little bit bigger bags because he's like a medium size bag and all I had was a small one and this large one and I think another one of these large ones would be way too big so yeah thankfully my suitcase is not 60 pounds anymore I can easily lift it so now it's time to finish putting away the laundry 
I think I'm gonna just add a few more things into my bags before I pack them up completely. And then I'm gonna self tan. And then after I rinse my self tanner off later, it's a two hour express one. I'm gonna straighten my hair. And yeah, I have my carry on here and like my clothes for tomorrow. Um, kind of a big bag let's hope they take it as a personal item but yeah that's the update for the moment doing a making an executive decision sorry watching youtube but i'm also making an executive decision to do my hair first and then spray tan yeah. okay Okay, so I moved the suitcases out here. I just have to add a few more things in the small one, but we're not actually taking the small one. And then I just vacuumed my room, so she's pretty clean. I got my clothes for tomorrow, and I'm about to self-tan, and I got my carry-on stuff. Let's hope that my self-tanner goes on well, and my back is, like, tan enough, because, like, I don't know if I'm able to reach it that well, so, like, fingers crossed, praying for the best. Yeah, okay, gonna go self-tan. I will catch you guys up in a little bit. Okay, so I've had this tan on for a little over two hours now, so I have to go rinse it off. I look crazy in this lighting. Oh my god, I look so crazy. But I'm ending the vlog here. Thank you guys for watching this crazy all-over-the-place vlog. I'm gonna start one tomorrow morning. My wake-up call is 4 a.m. I can't wait to get up at 4 a.m. Um, most of my stuff's done. My stuff's packed, like 90% of it's packed. I'm just trying to get ready as much as I can before we leave in the morning. And yeah, okay. Um, I'll talk to you guys in the next video, which will be a start of my vacation vlogs. <sighs> Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, follow me on my Instagram at EdmondsB, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.